And I said, those are shots. Stop the bus. And then I thought, I better find a phone. And the first building that came to that looked as though it might have a telephone was the Texas School Book Depository. I ran up the steps, and as I did, a young man in shirt sleeves came out. And I said, where's their phone? And he said, you better ask inside. And I did. I did a bulletin about the shots being fired, people screaming, and the people lying down on the grass, covering their children with the bodies, people chasing up this grassy knoll and saying it is not known if the shots were directed at the president. Anyway, I ran outside and a policeman stopped me, and as he did, a little uh, black boy said to us, Mr. I've seen a man with a gun right up in the window there, and another man came up and said, yes, a man with a gun up there, and a woman ran up and said he wasn't hurt, was he? And, I, and the policeman said, yes, ma'am, he was hurt bad. And then I learned that he'd been hit in the head and taken to Parkland Hospital. Did you meet Lee Harvey Oswald, the assassin, that day? I don't know. Um, William Manchester insists that I did, and he quotes Oswald as mistaking me for a Secret Service man. Apparently Oswald had told the oh, Secret sorry, Service that. that. I couldn't confirm it to Manchester when he talked to me about it. And in fact, at the uh, Museum of the Assassination in Dallas, they believe it was someone else who Oswald spoke to. I can't prove it. It's